Well, good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. And so we begin with a moment of silence. Time to just settle your mind. Time to let all those thoughts, just let them go. And come to this place of deep quiet and stillness. This morning we read from Psalm 80 and verse 3. Restore us, O God. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. Restore us, O God. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. We read in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 3 to 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. The University of Wisconsin's Center for the Study of Pain conducted an experiment in which researchers timed how long volunteers could keep their feet in buckets of freezing water. They discovered something very remarkable. Whenever a companion was allowed in the room with the person whose feet were being frozen, he or she could endure the cold for twice as long as those who suffered alone. The presence of another caring person doubles the amount of pain a person can endure. The same is undoubtedly true of emotional pain. And so ask yourself, Who reveals God's loving presence to me? Do I spend enough time with them? Do they know how deeply I value the comfort their presence brings? And so we ask the Lord. The Apostle Paul says that we can pass on to others the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Take a few moments now to ask the Lord to show you someone who needs to know his comfort. That needs to know his comfort expressed through you today. And so we pray the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. O Master, let me not seek as much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved 
as to love. Amen.